Can I address the CPS thing again? Yes. Because clearly I'm not being clear. Number one, I apologize for saying it. And secondly, and I'm not downgrading it, but I never in that statement was insinuating that your kids would be taken away from you. That's not what I meant. It was that if no adult was present. We have to be careful. I what do. With the words that we choose to say. But I understand. You know film, but I, I just want you to understand. I would I, never I get that, but you have to understand. That. I feel I that you have not hurt me. I feel that you have hurt my children. I, 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 and I feel horrible about that. All right. Let's take a break. You okay? Yeah. You didn't know me. That was good. Do you feel better? You got it out? No, because there was no real apology. There never is. It's my kid. I know. Now all of a sudden it's a little hot. Be a little hot? A little bit, I am. Yeah. There are some people that are never wrong. And it's like, how can you be right if they're never wrong? Like, I think I have to move on from this. I cannot carry this around no. anymore. You must breathe it out. Okay, folks, here we go. With her new at-home colonic, <laughs> Shannon has no problem unblocking her friends. But when it came to her relationship issues with John Jansen, her friends often struggled to unlock Shannon's vault. Take a look. Dr. Moon, I wanted to show you the Cytalonic. Let's turn sh into gold. You know, screw that. I'm pooping. <laughs> I don't want to hear poop. I don't want to hear it. How does water and fire mix? Do you put my fire out? <laughs> John and I have spoken about when the kids go out of school living together. I just want for us to have fun. Do we not still have fun? You've got your mind spinning. Heather shared some things with me about their relationship. Shannon pays for everything. The family dynamic isn't great. That he's never slept over. And his son lives with him, so she doesn't go over there. Heather's been telling Emily and Gina that the relationship with you and John is He's called her names and said that she's fat or unattractive. I am not taking a fall for defiling our friendship because I didn't do that. This is not the group to hide any information in. You know what? I don't have affairs. I have arguments that paralyze me. Does he spend enough time with me? Is there gonna be enough money? His kid doesn't like me. I can't talk about that on camera. They just need to, you know, shut the up. I'm so excited to dive into this. It's just been so disappointing to me, Heather, that you and I spent time before we started filming over this season, and Terry and, and you would spend time with John and I, and I felt that we were forging a true friendship. And right before filming started, I, less fingers than I have on this hand, would have conversations with you when we were in an argument, and you said, you should bring this up on camera. And I said, Heather, I want this relationship to work. I'm not going to talk about all my arguments, but, you know, I, and again, Gina, I apologize that I sing you owe my husband a huge apology. You owe my boyfriend a huge f***ing apology. Your boyfriend owes you a thousand apologies, apparently, for what everybody else is saying. Heather is telling me that you're talking about my relationship yeah, when I haven't spoke to you about it and that Emily's talking about my relationship and Tamara's talking about my relationship. The only person that I discussed my relationship was you. <laughs> That's not true. But they've all said that you've discussed your relationship with all I have, of them. I had a long conversation with you about okay, your relationship. Okay, so, so, so Emily... What did she say, Shannon? Hold on. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Was there something that Heather said on camera no, about she said your she relationship? Did it all off camera. Okay. I'm so not manipulative. Right. You she told, never repeated anything on camera. You told people off camera, Shannon and John's relationship, it's not good but I can't tell you what it is, because it's in the vault. No. When you say, but I can't tell you, it's in the vault, no, I'm saying people are going to think the worst. A million they are. times. I, I agree to that, because I didn't know what was in the vault. But you said it to me on camera in front of everyone, and I said it back to you. There's nothing bad like that. You know, we argued. Arguments no, we... that left you paralyzed. Okay, paralyzed. And, and yes, because what would happen is he would leave, and he would ghost me, and... I wouldn't speak to him for days, and it would be paralyzing to me because I have never been more in love with anyone in my life than I have with John Jansen. 
and he said, I'm ready to take the next step with you. It's an exciting time for us to take our relationship even deeper. I think there's more. But if he wanted to take the next step with you, why was he breaking up with you? Because he a was week saying later? what he wanted to say he on camera. He was trying to get through filming so that he didn't yeah. look bad. He and just he also said that handcuffed on camera? her. He said it on and camera, and a week later you? he broke up with me. Oh, it's horrible. Can I ask you something? Do you really believe that I was this Machiavellian behind the scenes? I, I do, Heather. Please don't get angry with me. You tend to drink and call some of us. You know what, We're Heather? Just the that's just, that's You're the a, epicenter. That's a up thing to say to it's me. It's not. Okay. You're the town crier. Do I go out and drink sometimes? For you to say I need rehab, for you to say, like, paint a picture so that I'm calling people every single night. I for you to say, say that I can night. breathalyze and, and, you and you say You should. I think my, it's a good invention. You, you need to you put say, it you the say, take a You joke? say it's my truth serum when I haven't had an you don't intimate want to look conversation. At that. You don't want to look at that at all, though, Shannon? It's saying, you and you don't want to look at it at all. You don't know anything about my personal, in-depth life. If we I'm don't know anything close, about you, again, then what are you let doing Let me reiterate, here? Gina, I don't like you. Yeah, I understand but that. I've never show, done anything about and you. And I can sit with and you. And I get that, and that's fine. Um, you Shannon, can say that, because every you time don't like you me. show the truth, Shannon, she doesn't like me. Question. Wait, can I, can like can I say something different? She don't like me. You share things with people that you're on a show with while we're filming a reality show, where you act like you don't understand how this works. And it's an assumption of risk. hard If you don't want any of us to talk about it, and you don't want it to come out, don't tell us. That's the thing is, you can't be faulted for bringing it up, because that's our job. Relationships get brought up. I do not understand. I'm interested because it seems like everyone here has had private conversations with you about your relationship. It all got put on her I, I, by I, I, Tamara. I had a conversation. And I'm curious. I had, from Emily. No, I had a conversation oh, with Gina in, said, in March of 2020 about relationships. And that's all had, I've ever said. Hadn't had